Well, if you didn't quite get your Marvel superhero fix from the last Avengers instalment, then fear not. X-Men Dark Phoenix is now in cinemas. Now, the film stars Sophie Turner. She's from the Game of Thrones, of course, and a Hollywood superstar, Jennifer Lawrence. But it's failing to fire with critics, especially our Weekend Sunrise movie man, Jason Jabber Davis. He has his say on the new movies of the week. we got to get out of here. Where's Jean? Where is she? Dark Phoenix is the second last X-Men film under the 20th Century Fox banner, with 2020's The New Mutants scheduled to be the 13th and final film in a series that's been both patchy and also the catalyst for the success of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Kicking off back in 2000, our own Hugh Jackman has been the backbone of much of the X-Men universe. He's absent from the new film, which stars Game of Thrones' Sophie Turner as Jean Grey who's part of an X-Men rescue squad to save a space shuttle in distress. It's a risky mission and leaves her exposed to the effects of a solar flare. Something's happening to me. When I lose control, bad things happen. But it feels good. When she returns to Earth, her telekinetic abilities have been souped up causing friction with her fellow X-Men and X-Women as she struggles to contain her new power. Sadly, this is one of the worst films I've seen in a long time. All the cast look like they're appearing under duress due to contractual obligations, and the entire third act had to be reshot due to poor test screenings. It currently sits on ratings website Rotten Tomatoes with the lowest score for any X-Men film. It's a garbled mishmash of ridiculous nonsense that has thoroughly inconsistent special effects with some space scenes jaw-dropping and others truly horrible. All in all, it's a terrible debut for writer Simon Kinberg as his first time in the director's chair. And as for being the second to last X-Men film, it's a sad send-off. I give it one star, utterly ridiculous. From Jean Grey to Red Joan, and despite being billed as starring Judi Dench, this World War II spy drama primarily features British actress Sophie Cookson. Even members of the cabinet don't know what we do. Am I allowed to know what you do? Red Joan tells the story of Joan Smith, a bright science student who thrives at Cambridge before falling in with communists. Joan works for the British atomic energy effort as they race against the Germans and the Americans and the Russians and even the Canadians to be the first to build a nuclear weapon. Once Hiroshima is bombed, Joan's allegiance is attested as her Soviet lover, Leo, begs her to share nuclear secrets. Judy Dench plays the older Joan who faces accusations of being a spy for the Russians. Joan Elizabeth Stanley. Special branch. What's going on? You are being charged with 27 breaches of the Official Secrets Act. It is an incredible true story, wonderfully written and directed, and performed to perfection. It's like I don't know you. I'm your mother. I was hanging on the edge of my seat to the very end to find out if Joan was indeed a commie spy. My mum is going to love this one. My rating, three and a half stars, a gripping true story spy drama. Is anything you ever told me actually true? I was fighting for the living. I loved my country. Wow, one to see, one to miss. You can't accuse Jabber of sitting on the fence, can you? <laughs> no. Utterly ridiculous, sad, horrible, one star.